Hey there everyone, so today I'm just going to show you something kind of interesting. So a colleague of mine that I've been working with recently has been working on a report and she just sent this to me saying that she's lost three hours of work because her report is corrupted. So when you try to open it, when she sent it over to me, what you'll see is that we get this little error right here that says, we're sorry we can't open broken report because we found a problem with its contents. And if you open up the details, you'll see that it's an XML parsing error and the location here is actually kind of relevant, but we'll get to that in a moment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this opportunity to try to fix it, but I know that corruption in Word, or rather uh, Word documents, does happen to a lot of people, and this could be really bad for people who are working on their dissertations or any really major report. So I want to go ahead and showcase how we're going to fix this, so that you can also try to do it in case this happens for you as well. Keep in mind this is an XML parsing error. It's a common one, but that's what you're going to need to be experiencing for this to actually work. So to start off, the first thing we want to do is You'll notice here that uh, there isn't really a file extension on this, and this being a Word document, we need to change its format. So we need to change it into something slightly different. The way that you can do that, first of all, is you can just come over here to where you found the file, and you need to change it from a Word file, from a docx, or just a doc, into a zip file. Now if you can't see it here, where it shows that it's a doc, or a docx, you can just come over here, go to view, and then you can just say click file name extensions. From there you can see what we have here, and then all you have to do is change this one from docx to .zip. Now you're off, and of course it's going to give you here a little bit of a warning, but just say yes, it's fine that you're going to change it. It's letting you know that obviously there could be errors if you do this. Now, the next thing you want to do here is if you don't have WinZip, go ahead and get it. But before we actually do anything here, I want us to go ahead and download a new program, assuming you don't already have it. So we're going to be getting Notepad++. It's just a really useful application. You don't necessarily need this one, but it's going to be perfect for our purposes here because it showcases code in code format. So you can actually see everything highlighted the way that it would naturally be. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one directly. We're just going to download it. We don't want to take this. Okay, so and we're not going to get it fast. Excuse me. No thanks. Continue to download Notepad. And there we go. It's currently downloading. And we'll just go ahead and install this on the desktop for the time being. So that should be perfectly fine. Once this concludes, we'll open it up and we'll see what we can do with it. Perfect. So let's just go ahead and check it out here. This is the one. We'll install it the way we do. And as you might imagine, we're just going to go through the whole process here. I keep dragging it in so you can see what we're going through. But really, it's just the standard stuff. Okay, perfect. Now, you might be wondering why we're actually running Notepad++ here in comparison with you know, anything else. And the thing is, a Word document essentially isn't really just a text document. It's actually a sequence of different XML files that are structured together and parsed together so that you can get yourself in a nice editing format. Now, what we're going to be doing here is I'm just going to close this so we can get rid of that one right there. You'll notice that we have this currently as a zip format. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open this, preferably using WinZip or anything that you have of the sort. We're not going to buy it right now. And what you need to do is you need to find exactly where that error was. Now you'll remember when we tried to open this before that it said that our problem was in the document. Okay, so if you come here to Word, R1 was in the document.xml file and that's where we had our error. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to extract this directly to your desktop or to wherever you think it's worth taking to. So I'm going to go ahead and put this just on my desktop. So that's fine. And by doing so, we can now actually edit it. We'll keep that one open for the time being, but I just need to go ahead and get that one to showcase to you. So we currently have it right here. Okay. And it's just a document.xml. I'll just go ahead and take that one out and put it on the desktop so it's a little bit easier to work with. We'll delete this. And now you need to open this with Notepad++, and you'll see we have the option here to edit it with Notepad++. Now, you'll notice here as well that we only have two lines, and if you recall as well from earlier, it said that our problem was in the second line. But we can't really do anything with that, even if you can see it, because we don't really have the option to edit very much of this code here. We just have the base structure. So what you want to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to go into Plugins, and we're going to install a new plugin here. So we'll go to the Plugin Admin, and then from here, you want to scroll all the way down until you can find XML tools. From there, just make sure that you have this one in and click Install. 
it's going to let you know that it's going to have to close Notepad++ in order to make this possible. And then from there, we now have this open with XML tools. There we go. Coming back over to here. Now, it's installed, but it's not actually activated. So if you come to your plugins, you'll just come over to XML tools, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and use Pretty Print. If you do this, you now have all of them expanded. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to see where there's a problem. Now, I need to explain a little bit why we had this corruption in the first place. Now, essentially because we have a giant set of XML files that are strewed about together in Word, they're essentially just lots of different bits of code that tell it how characters need to be spaced, what colors they are, their font size, their actual font itself, indentations, and then what happens is at some point, maybe during a save, or maybe if you had this on a USB or a hard drive and you didn't eject it properly, you can get a corruption where something in here breaks or something here gets shifted, and then when you're trying to reopen it in Word, it goes through an error, which is unable to read, and hence you get the parsing error or the XML error. So what we're going to do is we need to find where that is, and you'll note that this is a massive, massive document. So it's going to be extremely difficult for us to actually find it. But what you can do is you can always use the row and column number to find it, but for our purposes, that's not going to be particularly useful. And you'll notice that here, we're looking at everything that is inside of two. So when it said that it was in row number two, it actually meant it's just not in one, because it could be in anything that fits under the summarized area of number two. So that doesn't really help us much. And even the column numbers aren't as useful as it might sound. But what's really good is that with these sets of tools, you can actually quickly find it by looking or scanning for an error in the code. Now the best way I found to do this is if you just try to save it, first of all, it'll immediately try to save, but it's going to scan the entire thing as it's saving and stop you as soon as it hits a warning. And you can find here this highlighted area at, you know, row 32,272. We have an issue here with the end tag where it says W drawing doesn't match the start of a graphic data. And if you find an error here, count your blessings. This is amazing because this is the reason why it's corrupted. Now this might not be the only reason why it's corrupted, but it definitely stands as one of them. So what we're going to do is we need to see what it is actually warning us of here. You'll notice that based on the way that these things are structured, the tab, or rather where it's sitting, needs to line up perfectly from start to finish. Here's an example where you can see that we have W uh, colon P, and it has to end with a slash W colon P, where the slash right here represents the end. So this is the opening and this is the ending. You have to make sure that everything has an opening and an ending, and if something doesn't, it's going to cause a problem. Here you can see that we have an opening for a graphic data, and underneath it we got chart here, but it's being closed in the same tabulated area with a closing for W colon drawing, which is not compatible. So you might first think, okay, well that means that we just have to convert this from a drawing to a graphic data with a closing, and that might make sense. But if you look a little bit further up here, I notice that the, it, there is a W drawing up here that doesn't end with a W drawing. It ends with a W text box or TXBX content. So we can see that there's a few of these that don't really seem to be lining up. And our first role here would probably have to be to figure out what's not lined up and how do we fix it. The easiest way that I can think of doing this would be to find out at what point do they line up so that we know where to work from. Now we've got here, we've got a text box, it's going right down, actually this one's going quite far down, so I don't think this is one we're going to need to mess with at the moment. But if we come here, we've got picked shape text box, text box contents, WP, I think we'll just work on this one backwards in that case. So I know there's a drawing that's going to be necessary, so I'm going to leave this one in. I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to take this same one right here, and I'm just going to close it. Because we know that it's been opened, and now it needs to be closed. So we'll paste that one down there, make sure you close the, the arrow, and if you do it this way, you'll see that it automatically generated a closing one, because I had created an opening one, but we don't need it, because we're actually creating a closing one ourselves. So we'll just go ahead and add a slash here, make sure you use the correct slash, which is the one in this direction here, and you'll see now that they're highlighted in purple, which, rec which suggests they are closed. This one, for example, needs to have a closing one, but it does not highlight when you click it, which suggests it doesn't have a pair. So we want to create a pair for this one here as well. So I'll just grab this one over again. And I'm just going to come underneath a graphic data here. Make sure I go to the correct level on the tab. 
paste that one in. I'll put a slash on this one first so it doesn't create a closing one for us. And you'll notice because of the lack of a closing one or a closing arrow, it's actually connecting itself to the drawing. So again, we'll close that one there and now we have ourselves the A graphic. We of course have this one here for the drawing, which looks like it needs to be here. And if we do that, we now have these two that are linked. The only one that we're missing now is WP inline, which I don't think is connected to anything and it doesn't appear to be. So we'll just go ahead and make another one of those and you can see that this is maybe a grueling process and depending on your situation, you might not have nearly as many to fix as I do. But this is effectively where we have our problems. So we'll close this one too. And if you're just patient with it, you might be able to enjoy yourself. And with that, we now have all of these ones connected, which is perfect until we get to drawing. But does that mean that everything is connected? This one, for example, you can see is connected to that one, but it's in the wrong level. So again, let's bring that one back. Just a moment. and stick it right over there with a slash. Now that we've done this, it looks like we have a good hierarchy going again. And if I try saving, you can see that the highlight is gone. Normally, if you hadn't done it right, so for example, I'll just remove this one here so you could see what I'm referring to. I'll just cut that one out. If you save without one, it's gonna give you another warning that will tell you that, oh, well, you know, there's another issue right here. We don't have a WP to end it with. So again, it's showcasing where that would need to go. So we'll just come back and we'll re-add that as we had originally, which is right there. And we'll save it once more and you'll see that that tag is finished. It's gone. Now that you've done this, keep in mind, by the way, that this is not the only thing that could go wrong. There's always the potential that you might, for example, find a question mark added somewhere, which is not supposed to be there. You'll know this because realistically the error should showcase where there's a problem and you can see how it needs to look based off of everything that's surrounding it. So, we'll save this one last time, we'll close through that one, and we have our document.xml that we can make use of. Now, if you come back right over to here, which is where we took the document out of, you can delete this one, which is the old one that we were just using. So we'll delete that one, and sure, we want it to be removed. Okay, so the next thing you need to do now is just, just grab onto this document right here and stick it right back where you got it from. And it's going to say, you know, are you okay with adding this one in here, achievement and properties and so on? If you just say that that's fine, it's going to reappear right here. You can see we have our document.xml, and this is the new one that we just modified. And you can see that based off of the time here, where it's 2.35, similar to the one I just made here. You can close that one off, and now if you recall, we have this as a .xml. So if you just go ahead and change this back... Oh, sorry, excuse me, this is not the one that we want to change back. What we want to change back is this one right here, which is the one that we had as a zip file. So take this one and just change it back into a docx. It's going to give you a warning here that says that, are you sure you want to do this? It could corrupt it. The answer is yes, we do. We can delete this one because we don't need it anymore. And in theory, should you open this one right now, it should no longer be corrupted. And as you can see, our report is back to the way that it was before. So yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really hope this helps anybody get through this issue. Um, it could be very daunting if you lose a very large amount of work as a result of this. So this is not the be all end all and I know it's a lot of rigorous work and it could be quite scary for some people to work with the code directly, but I do hope it was clear enough to help somebody get through this. And should you have any questions, please feel free to, please feel free to ask. I'm always happy to help. And with that, I wish you the very best and have a nice one.